Welcome back. I'm on the outskirts of Bodrum, Turkey. Riding to the ancient city of Pedasa to do a stealth camp. Okay, I'm almost there. Just at the top of this road. Check it out, I can see some stone walls. So this is the ancient city of Pedasa. Hidden away in the forest. It's bound to be a good place to stealth camp in here. Look at those chemtrails. And they've been cloud seeding all day. Looks like it's working. This was an ancient Greek city. Right here is the Sanctuary of Athena. Security guards right down there fixing the fence. Let's have a look at an overview from up on that outcrop. Hello, goats. Ascending the Acropolis. Mate, they can cloud seed all they want. It's starting to get pretty hot. Wow. The remains of an antique city. You can see Bodrum down there. This must have been some corner guard tower for the main wall. Wow, you can see clear across the peninsula from here. A GNC over there. A GNC over there. Quite the aspect this place has. I think this rope will hold my weight if I jump out to it. Oh, nice. That was fun. Let's get a look at this top watchtower. Whole bunch of ancient pottery fragments. And here's the peak of the Acropolis. Ottoman conquest. I think this is the spot to camp. Okay, I'm gonna start schlepping my stuff up here. Not gonna set up yet though. I'm gonna wait till it gets closer to dark in case anyone else shows up. I 
I can tell already that this is going to be a very cold night. The sun hasn't even set yet and it's already freezing up here. Let's see, where should I set up my tent? Just got to find a nice flat ground that's not too rocky. Maybe right here. What a beautiful view from up here. Lights are starting to turn on down in Bodrum. and cozy in here. First things first, let's make some warm drink. Uh-oh. Well, there goes my beaker mug. Smashed. Beautiful lighting. Got another one of these Nescafe three in ones. There's the remains of my beaker mug. I knew it wasn't going to last long, honestly. Every time I've used it up until now has been a miracle. getting dark so time to close up these curtains let's get some light in here there we go this was supposed to be dessert but I'm gonna have it first some kind of weird Turkish Snickers looking thing it's quite Snickers-esque Dinner time. Start off with, I've got some noodles. Check it out. International Taste Institute of Brussels 2021 award. It's bound to be good. Water's done. Anyone ever had coco rech before? It's literally spit roasted intestine wrapped innards. And it's the greatest thing I've ever had. It's my new favorite dish. It's from the Balkans. And you might balk at it to begin with, but if you give it a try, you'll see that it's absolutely delicious. Curry seasoning, chili powder, this is basically kidneys, liver, lungs, other kinds of giblets, sweet bread, all wrapped in the intestines of suckling lamb and spit roasted. It's just fantastic. Got some cashews, I'm going to throw a handful of cashews in here. This is the kind of dish born out of necessity, and then everyone decided it was delicious and they wanted to keep having it. And I couldn't agree more. I discovered it here in Turkey. First time I ever had it, I just saw it and I thought it looked great. Didn't know what it was, ordered it, had it, it was delicious. Second time, did some research and found out that it was awful, wrapped in intestines. 
couldn't care less. I think it's just great. If I ever get back to Australia, I gotta find out if they sell this stuff there. Oh, there's so much melted fat here. This is gonna be so tasty. Kokorech cashew noodles. Let's give this a try. Beautiful. Mmm. God, yes. This is probably the best meal I've ever made while camping. Check it out. Watermelon iced tea. They don't sell this flavor in Australia. Nice. Look at that big roll of intestines and innards. Mm. This is the life. Bro, if I just heard gunshots, like four loud gunshots, I hope they're not shooting at me. Warning shots, maybe? At least now I can say, shots fired on the thumbnail, right? Hell yeah, delicious dinner. I mean, I heard gunshots, but I'm staying right here. I ain't getting down. I'm just going to assume that it has nothing to do with me and that they're living their own lives and they don't know I'm up here. Like, who would fire gunshots at an Acropolis anyway just because they saw someone camping? Who would do that? They don't really have Second Amendment gun ownership here in Turkey, so it's probably some farmer who has a license and he's maybe shooting at pests. Something's bugging his cows or goats or something and shooting at that. I'm just going to assume that's the case. I want dessert anyway, so I'm going to have a few of these sun-dried apricots. Beautiful. All right. Time to chill until bedtime. Good night. Gunshots. Good morning. Those gunshots were going all night. The ones you heard, I recorded around midnight. After that, they started dying off. But they kept waking me up at different points. I wonder who out here was firing guns off. It's a beautiful morning. Nice and crisp. Okay. Time to take my tent down before people start coming up here. Wow, now that was just a great spot. Really nice views to wake up to. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. See you on the next one.